so John. <laughs> It's a great honor for me to uh, chair this uh, the panel, and uh, I think Yavin has given us a very great landscape in terms of uh, last year and the first quarter number, and how much money raised, 900 million, and then invest 334 million, and um, you know there's a lot of almost every VC firm in the Silicon Valley try to find a marriage met, you know, in terms of a partnership, and so it's really hot and it's getting exciting. Um, so I think uh, this panel we have here is really exciting because they, each one of them have a unique story and they are the you know, most active venture firm uh, in China and they're going to share with you their experience, what is hot, what is cold, what are the pitfall, and also their firm strategy in terms of investment and the partnership that they have. So I think I'm just uh, delighted uh, to have uh, them on the panel here. And I think uh, Gavin, congratulations, and John put the panel together. Uh, what I'd like to do is to have each one of them and then give maybe one minute, because I think I'd like to get a lot of things going with this panel. Uh, we have until 11.10, and so we want to be very precise. So if you can just give one minute of your firm, and I think there's a lot of time you can continue. Uh, I'm going to circle back quite a few times. So Andy, can you start first? Yes. Um, I'm managing the... Uh, safe partnership, uh, SoftBank a Asia Investment Fund, uh, total about 1.1 billion, and uh, Cisco has been our largest uh, LP and a long-time supporter. Uh, we have been focused on Pan-Asia investment, but uh, principally about 75% investment in Greater China. Uh, you? Yeah, I'm with uh, ID Technology Ventures. Uh, we into a partner with last year. Originally called Acer Technology Ventures, we manage uh, 200 million uh, dollars uh, of fund in Greater China, focusing on the local value added services uh, as well as uh, component and semiconductor. Uh, Hugo Xiong, I'm the general partner of IDG VC and IDG XL uh, China Fund. I like to save my reserve my uh, 30 minutes for my presentation because we're going to okay. talk about all today. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, we come here from the uh, CDH. We are more of a, a private equity uh, player investing a lot in the traditional industry, a little bit on the venture side. Uh, total fund and the management of four hundred million. Thank you. Uh, Neil Shen, uh, founding managing partner of Secure Capital China. Uh, Secure Capital China was founded last September by Secure <coughs> US. Uh, ben Zhang, formerly head of DFG China, uh, and myself. Uh, we currently manage a $300 million China fund focusing on high growth, high potential companies in China. Great. So I think it's a great uh, introduction. And what I'd like to do is, uh, I think, sorry. Okay, do my first? Okay. So uh, the, the organizer asked me to kind of kick off the panel. And then later on, we will have each person have about seven minutes to present. Uh, this uh, inside review of the China VC industry. I'm going to kick off with just a few slides just to give you a flavor of it. And uh, okay, well, yeah, okay. Okay, hopefully it works. Okay, so what I'd like to do is kind of highlight to you that you know this uh, China is going through a transformation, and uh, from a planned economy to become a domestic consumption. Economic that the government is driving it, and then because of that, you know, and a very big uh, promotion in terms of uh, the energy is going to be a big issue. And uh, you know, world number two now in the, in terms of consumption behind China, Habitat US, and also the whole IT sector in terms of Gavin mentioned earlier, a lot of investment in this sector, and then the strategic industry for government, and also I think there's a very broad, uh, unbalanced uh, stability and also the unemployment is another issue that uh, the government is dealing with, and so it's something worthwhile to follow. <coughs> oh, yeah. I'm not quite sure I'm waiting to reach direction. Okay, good, there you go. I think I'm too fast. Okay, uh, so next thing I think, you know, we're gonna be touch on later on is what are the new areas that opportunity can be worthwhile for us. I think you all know that's about almost uh, you know, uh, 400 uh, 
subscri uh, mobile subscriber and the mobile application and services is a very big theme and I think we're kind of going to talk about that. And then some conductor, you know, right now it's about 21% of the world market and it's growing at 32%. And I mentioned earlier about the clean technology and the country need to generate 200,000 uh, 20, uh, 200, megawatts of electrical power to sustain that 8 9% growth. And that's going to be a very, very interesting area. And I think the panel is going to talk about the energy, what are the hot areas to invest. And meanwhile, I think you all know the, you know, the talent pool in China in terms of number of graduates, PhD. And I think over time, I think they're going to be a very big force um, you know, right behind you know, US and then China and then India. This is a very big uh, theme. And I think if you read the book, you know, uh, Tom Freeman talked about the world is flat. And I think it's happening right now. And I think this is a chart. I think the government have a lot of more information. You can clearly see that four billion raised, one billion investing. Is that overheated? And there's a lot of money sitting on the sideline. And then include the first quarter that the government just put together. Uh, that will be a topic that we're going to talk about. With that, what I'd like to do is, you know, uh, have each one of them have about seven minutes. Uh, to present their, their view about the China VC. And I start with Andy. You know, Andy is uh, 1994, he was the VC of the uh, VC firm of the year and also the, uh, and the VC and, uh, of, the, of the year. And then uh, he had a great success in Santa, Acorn coming out, Chenasoft, we worked together on that one. And so it's going to be exciting to hear from him, Andy.